Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we'll take a look at how to create this simple gauge chart in Excel. This chart is sometimes referred to as a DAO or speedometer chart. A gauge chart shows the minimum and maximum points as well as two or more ranges to indicate where the current value falls. This will help you to visualize how much of the target has been achieved. You can use it to track percentage of work completed in a project, actual sales to target sales, you know, and so on. Today, we are going to use it to visualize the progress of a fundraising project. Here, yeah, the required funds is 20 million. However, total cash on hand is 5 million. Therefore, the target is to raise 15 million over a six week period. The weekly progress is here, and I've used a simple data validation so the chart can be dynamic. Take a look at it. To create this gate chart, you need to create a donor chart and a pie chart as a single chart. If you are yet to see my video on pie charts, the link is in the description box below. I'll also leave a link to download this workbook in the description box. Now, let's get to business. The donor chart will be used for the speedometer using this data, while the pie chart will be used for the pointer or dial using this data. The key point to note here is that the speedometer and pointer should each sum up to 150. For the speedometer, the minimum should be zero and maximum should be 50. Therefore, the range should sum up to 100. You can distribute it as you want. For the pointer, the actual value has been linked. The pointer should be between one and three. This depends on how wide you want it to be. And the end is the balance that makes it sum up to 150. First step, let's create a donut chart. Select the data, go to insert, and select do not chart. Click on any slice, press Ctrl 1 to open the format pane, adjust the angle of first slice to 240 degrees. Next, adjust the whole size to 60%. Go back to the chart to delete the legend and the title. You see that only four slices are visible on the chart. The minimum that is 0% is not going to be visible on the chart. Next, go to fill and line to change the colors. I like to format my colors under the shape fill in the format tab right here in the ribbon. So we'll use that. Now to select individual slices, you have to double click on it. Let's start with the initial slice. When you over your mouse on it, it indicates the name of the slice. So double click on initial and let's fill it with dark red. I like to add gradients too. So go to gradient and select any one you like. I'll go with linear up. Let's move to the next slice. Double click on the slice. Let's give this an amber color since it shows a range that is close to achieving the target. Choose a gradient. Move to the next slice and fill with green color and add a linear up gradient. This is the range where the target is achieved. The last slice should have no fill. So under shape fill, select no fill. We're getting close to the finish line. The next step is to create the pointer, that is the pie chart. Right click on the donor chart, select data, click on add. The edit series dialog box will appear. Select the cell containing the name pointer for the series name. Select the cells containing the data, then click OK. Next, right click anywhere in the chart and select change series chart type. Click on the drop down for chart type and select pi. Then check the secondary axis box. 
This will make the pie chart overlap the donut chart. Click OK. Similar to what we did on the donut chart, let's adjust the angle of first slice. Click on any slice. In the format pane, adjust the angle of first slice to 240 degrees. Click on each of the bigger pie slices. Go to Format. Under Shape Fill, select No Fill. Click on the pointer slice and select Black Fill. You can edit the colors to your choice. Double click on the pointer slice and add a data label from the chart elements icon. Expand the label by holding your mouse and dragging towards the direction you want. Double click in the box, then go to the formula bar, type equal to and link to the pointer value. This will make the chart show the actual progress rate. Our chart is looking good. Let's insert some shapes. Go to the Insert tab. Under Shapes, select a flowchart connector. Hold down Shift and drag to your desired size. Place the shape in the middle of the chart and format the color. I'll just select one from the Shape Styles Gallery. Next, insert another text box for the week number. Go to Insert. Under Shapes, select a text box. Place it at the bottom of the chart. Go to the formula bar, type equal to and link to the actual week used in the chart. One more text box to go. Go to insert, under shapes, select a rectangle and draw on the top of the chart and format the column. I'll just select the same one I used for the connector. Type the project name and our chart is ready. Oops, I almost forgot the text boxes for the minimum and maximum points. That's 0 and 100. Let's test it by changing the week. Cool. I hope this video has been useful. Please share so that others can learn from it. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.